What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Um, it's been a minute since I made a video. Um, unfortunately, life just gets in the way of these things, what can I say? But anyway, a few people have been asking for a video on the Haldex conversion on the Caddy, so here it is. Um, I'll start from the front and just kind of explain it going backwards. So this has obviously got a 2.8 VR6 24 valve lamp in it. There's numerous ways to get that in a Mark I. You can use um, bolting mounts, which use the factory pickup points. You can use custom mounts, which is what this is, using Mark IV mounts. Um, obviously, it depends on what engine you're putting in. It could be a, a 1.8T, R32, whatever, whatever. But yeah, so that, that's kind of self-explanatory. depends on what, what you're using. Um, steering rack. Um, clearly, it will need some modification because... Um, of the prop shaft so it needs to be dropped a little bit so the prop can go over the steering rack and again i'm sorry if this isn't that clear hopefully you can see that but the steering rack's there the prop it's got to go over it it's quite tight but it does clear uh clearly you need to make some room for the prop so that's the center tunnel Pe different people do it different ways this one is tucked up nicely under there and the exhaust one's underneath it so re relatively straightforward up to this point. And then it gets interesting at the back. So your options are, you can go full Haldex, which is using the rear end of a, a Mark IV Golf, Audi TT, etc., etc. Now bearing in mind that those vehicles are um, considerably wider than a Mark I Golf, um, it does require quite a lot of shortening of, of stuff to get it to fit. Um, this is a little bit more period correct, if you wanna call it that in that it uses the synchro rear end which comes which came on the mark ii golf and like the g not the g60 the uh, the rally and the mark three vr which was only available in germany so, um so um in terms of width wise it's a little better suited to a mark one chassis so um again yeah so this is a synchro rear end with a haldips conversion um, so you can go, again, you can either go one, full Haldex, so the complete rear Haldex up, or you can go synchro with it and take off the synchro diff and use a Haldex diff in its place. Okay, so how is this fitted? Uh, again, disclaimer here, I did not do this work. I bought it already, already like this of a, a guy called Stefan Plass in Germany. Um, so yeah, he did all the hard work. I just put the engine and stuff in and did a few little bits and pieces. So, um, how has it been done? So the, ma the major kind of fabrication or the very difficult piece is this kind of box section piece in here, um, which basically holds the rear axle. So obviously that needs to be fabricated and welded in, and then the, the rear axle will bolt up to that. Trailing arm will bolt up to the rear axle, so that's nice and simple. Um, the rear turrets need to be modified to take uh, synchro rear shocks. They're McPherson, so it's relatively nice and easy. Um, what else? Anti-roll bar is synchro, trailing arms are synchro, axle synchro, rear diff is Tele Haldex. This is just my um, mount for my fuel pump. Um, there's a cradle which has been made, which literally just bolts through the bed, which holds this aluminium bracket, which holds the diff. And that's kind of it to get it into this view. Obviously, it sounds a lot simpler than it is, but it, it, it is it is it is kind of just just like that. Obviously, clearly, the difficult part is making sure it's square. Now, obviously, you've you've got the the factory pickup points for the um, uh, original rear axle. Um, so I'm assuming what he did was make a jig to use that as his reference point, because clearly that's straight and square to the body. And then he fabricated this bolted this up and then kind of went backwards so he knew kind of that was square that was square and then so basically everything else going for the back should be square um and then yeah, there was kind of a case of relocating the fuel tank because it used to sit from memory i think along there or kind of where the rear diff is um but yeah that's kind of it i think um Okay, everything kind of you see here is kind of bolt on. I mean, standard synchro calipers, drive shafts, etc., etc. There's nothing really overly complex or overly custom. Um, there's some intricacies, I'm sure, in terms of like he's made um, 
the uh, the recesses for the uh, handbrake cables and stuff like that and mounts for the exhaust and stuff so it, it isn't a five don't get don't me wrong it's not a five minute job but with a bit of thought um bit of patience a bit of fabrication skill it, it can be done relatively simply but yeah that, that's it that's that's how i think the synchro conversion was, was done um but yeah if you've got any questions um or you want me to take any pictures etc etc give me a shout other than that, I'll catch you for the next one, and as always, thanks for watching. Cheers, bye.